to Twilight Town. Let's go. Let's not go. <laughs> the pipe rejected you. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Hi, you guys, and welcome to the Shan Caravan. In today's video, we're back with some more Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I was trying to do some uh, behind the scenes work and get back to the Thousand Year Door, but uh, I got stopped. <laughs> Mario, hear that noise? That's totally an email from Princess Peach. Mm -hmm. Dearest Mario, I have uncovered something terrible. These things, the x knots they're planning to take control of the world. It's to that end that they are searching for the crystal stars. I still don't know what the crystal stars do, but you must try to get them all. I will gather what information I can. Princess Peach. What? They want to rule the world? That does not sound like a friendly plan. <laughs> What about them seemed friendly? The fact that they, like, kidnapped Princess Peach? Oh, God. <laughs> well, I got my second piece of the marvelous compass at Plum Belly Village recently. Oh, boy, I really got my hands dirty on that one, I'll tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Not right now. <laughs> oh, really? You're lost, bro. Maybe I'll tell you about it some other time, huh? Love the cherry. Hi, I guess. I'm Jerry. I'm a bomb mom from Plum Belly Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry I sound so down, but uh, you would be too if you saw Luigi dressed as a bride. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm serious. It scarred me. <laughs> it was honestly scarier than that giant snake thing. I feel I like now have a moral duty to stop Luigi from ever dressing as a bride again. I have to protect the world from my fate. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. Dang, I'm gonna have to spend an episode like listening to all his stories because my God, that actually sounds pretty crazy. Um, before we go to the thousand year door, I actually want to level up, level up, level up, level up one of my characters real quick. What it do? Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. So which partner would you like me to power up? Uh, we're going to do Lego. Definitely. I never use Madame Flurry. <laughs> Shall I power up this power partner? Hey, finally get his health up too, because 10 is just not cutting it. Shazibi. Shazubi. <laughs> Hey, then you may go. All right, bye, bruh. Just smells of incense and lavender. Um, I wanna also check out the, it's locked from the inside, can't go there. I wanna check this out real quick. Hey, is this your first time to the Trouble Center? If you plan on using our services, I can explain them for you first. Need an explanation? No. I see. Then get out of here. Oh. I have to listen to it. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> then listen and listen good. This trouble center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check that bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, you'll choose someone and try to help them out. If not, not. <laughs> help someone out and they'll give you a reward. Probably. Not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve the trouble, you have to pay to cancel. You got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. I wanted to see if there's anything that would help me story-wise yet before I start the next chapter. Um, safe delivery, Arthur, Gunther, Roberto, Coopook, <laughs> Mayor Croup, Plenty, Tony Elder, Han Jr., Jolene, early nope okay nothing nothing too helpful yet <laughs> so let's go on to the uh thousand year door oh my goodness if i can and down we go Don't jump through here. 
I wonder what's back through here. Can I do this? I can do this now. Okay, I gotta wait. And go. Oh god, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I didn't make it. Oh, you know what? I don't think I make it with him. I need another partner for that one. I tried. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> And now I don't have to fly over and like almost get hit by those spinny dudes. Hey. And just jump up. Hmm. I was also told by one of you guys that I can uh, get a shine sprite from here. Oh my god, not that. <laughs> hey. Just gonna fly around. Hey. Um, did I go the right way? Perhaps. Uh, made it to the pit of a thousand trials, but uh, I don't think that gets me uh, what I needed. <laughs> um, maybe I need to fly again. Ah. Alright. <laughs> there we go. Now let's switch back to Goombella. Ella, Ella. I just like her dialogue the best. <laughs> We're getting there, you guys. Three out of seven. We're like kind of halfway done. <laughs> And they just now, um, I guess, revealed the, um, the release date for the remake, which I think is May something. Um, I doubt I'm going to finish this before May. Um, <laughs> I got like, what, two weeks left to record before I uh, have this baby. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm thinking at most I'll probably get to chapter five or so. Oh. Hmm. You know, I had the order on these all wrong. I did not know that was the next place I was going. <laughs> the location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And when I say I'll make it to chapter five, I mean, I'll make it to chapter five probably before I stop recording um, and take my maternity leave, but there won't be a gap in like what you guys see. It'll just be the next time I record after that, I'll probably look different. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all good, all good. There's the fourth crystal star. We're gonna have to show Professor Frankly again. It's okay, we have to let him know what Princess Peach wrote in her email anyway. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm hoping I can have this game done by the summer at least, so I can move on to uh, another quest. Leave a comment below if you uh, have some ideas. <laughs> what? The group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world conquest? I'm sure sounds like it. That must be why they need the legendary treasure, huh? Hmm, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held to what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was in actuality a great cataclysm. The very cataclysm that a thousand years ago sank that town underground. Wait a sec. So they want to use that cataclysm's power to take over the world? I can't say for sure what they'll do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they do get it, then once again, this town? No, the entire world could be destroyed. Oh my gosh, Professor, then we gotta get the next Crystal Star right away. Hmm. According to the map, it appears the next Crystal Star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? Tell you the truth, I don't know much about the place myself, only rumors. I have heard that as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. Hmm. 
<laughs> Aha, there appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town, somewhere here in Rogueport. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? Beneath the west part of town. Gotcha. We're on it. Thanks, Professor. Woo. All right, Maria, let's do it. I like when it's a bit more straightforward as to, like, where the... Oh, Jesus. Can't be scaring me like that. <laughs> it's probably just another, um... RDM thing. I forget. <laughs> Koopy Koo. Aww. Dear Mario and Coops, I hope you two are doing okay. I have to admit, with Coops gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely, and I go into Coops' house, and I smell that Coops smell. I guess it's your cologne, or whatever, but it makes me so sad. I've gotten used to your smell, Coops. Oh, and the thing is, your dad, Coopley, has his own smell, and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's gut. That's disgusting. Now I gross myself out. Oh, and since he's going to be my dad too someday, I'd better get used to that smell, huh? Oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed, but I'm sending you this anyway. <laughs> Love, Koopy Koo. I remember saying that um, <laughs> Koops is like a neck beard and Koopy Koo is like his little kitten. And she definitely fits that profile. Talking about like going in your house and smelling your smell and... All right, Goom uh, Koopa Koo. It's a little creepy. It's a little much. <laughs> nice, nice. Let's save real quick. But I do like when it's a bit more clear as to like where the next place you need to go is or how to get the next chapter started instead of you just rambling around and hoping to find some answers. Thankfully, I kind of remember this one a little bit better. Gonna sloop down here and I need my guy dang it oh dang it that was probably the worst oh my gosh alright I'm gonna go ahead and swap you out so I can tattle so I can hiccup that's a Spinea. Spinea with spikes on its head. Looks ne meaner too. Max HP is three, attack is one, defense is zero. So sort of the same as the Spinea. You ought to watch out for the spikes on its head, but otherwise just wail on it. Gotta be honest though, the way that thing spins makes me want to yak. <laughs> they are pretty fast. Jesus. They are so fast, it's kind of hard to dodge. Alright, uh, can I use my super hammer? Take you all out? Or not. <laughs> uh, and you really can't do anything right now, so, uh, because you can only bonk on their heads. So let's switch back to Lego. Got that one. Hey. Let's just take you guys out. Oh man. That's oh this do it. No. So just need one more. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> I actually don't want to use an attack. Because I don't want to waste uh, four, what you call it? Because he can't do his ground pound without hurting himself. And I'm not finna waste four flower power just for one HP. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think there's only one guy down here. And at least he's gone now, so I don't have to worry about anything. Nope, I was wrong. I was very wrong. <laughs> and this is not where I wanted to go. <laughs> I think that leads me to like some fast travel places to like get back to some places I've been in um, some other chapters. But I don't really need that right now. I don't really need to back travel just yet. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> I remember this being a pain like back when I was a kid too. 
Oh, finally. All right. Shine spread, shine get. Switch on back to Goombella. To Twilight Town. Let's go. Let's not go. <laughs> the pipe rejected you. Yup. Sounds about right. <laughs> uh, is there gonna be a guy down here? Oh my god. Um. <laughs> oh come on, come on. Okay. Whew. Guess it's time to go back to uh, Professor Frankly. I don't know why I want to call him Goomfrey. 